Okay, we'll move on to grep. Okay, that's a BZ2. Right, so I've got to remember to type in the full path. So it's $LFS static bin BZ cat. And just copy all this in. There's nothing else to do. Okay, that's done. Next we've got gzip. Right, now I had problems with this one, so I created a patch file for it. So I'm going to have to put this in. to ensure it builds and then I can put the commands in and it's basically the same problem that was uh, occurring with LFS 1.0 where there was a problem with the duplicate base name declaration so it's just a case of renaming one of those um, declarations pretty much the same as gzip was in LFS 1.0 so that's installed Tidy that up and move on to make and again just copy and paste this. It says about a warning may appear, um, but it can be ignored. Okay, that's done. And move on to patch. Well, we've done patch, so I don't think there's any point in redoing that. So move straight on to said.
it's done. So we can move on to SHUtils. And we've got a patch here. Um, now that patch wasn't available, I couldn't find it. Um, and the, you know, in fact, there isn't really a description of the patch. Um, certain glib versions uh, to avoid a conflict with certain glib versions, usually glibc 2.1.x. So you can see before we haven't got that version, we have glibc 2.0.7. So I didn't use it, I didn't go trying to find anything about it or fix it or anything, and it didn't seem to cause any problems. So just copy and paste these commands in. Okay, that's complete. So move on to tar next. Right, so there's a patch for this, and it looked like it was just to add functionality to the tar command to allow bzip files to be extracted directly from within tar. Um, and I spent some time trying to recreate this patch because I couldn't find it. I thought it would be quite useful to have. Um, so I did actually manage to do that. So I've included that. It just makes things a little bit easier. Okay, so we've got to do the absolute path again. Uh, so dollar LFS static. Bin patch. Yep, that's it. So now we can build that and when we go into the true, we'll have a tar which we can use instead of tar minus xz for gz files, we have to do tar minus xj for bzip2 files. 
um, will be a little bit easier than having to pipe the um, output of the BZ cat command into the tar program to get the tarball, a BZIP2 tarball extracted. Of course, later versions of tar um, auto detect the archive and use the appropriate binary automatically. Okay, so that's done. Let's uh, remove that. And move on to text info next. So once again, we just copy this standard set of commands to build the package. Okay, I've got an error there for some reason. Right, that looks like it might be bin utils related. Now, when I did uh, the test for this, I did actually, as I say, build a separate bin utils that was available in the path at all times. So maybe that's the problem there. So what I'm going to do is to tidy up extract it and I found it can compile with the older uh, compiler so it looks like that may be the problem so I've just extracted it afresh and what I've done is uh, I've just told it to compile with the old GCC version and that seems to work and again it shouldn't make a difference because we're compiling statically Okay, that's configured, so I'm going to build it now, and it should build correctly. And you can see it's using the older version of GCC to build. So that's probably what the problem, it's probably a combination of things actually. Um, and luckily it is um, only text info, it shouldn't be too important if it does compile incorrectly or produce bad binaries. Um, it shouldn't be too important.
Okay, so you can see it's compiled correctly there. So I'll just do make install. And that's successful. So like I say, it's because I've done something slightly different, it seems to have caused me different problems. So next we've got text utils. Okay, this is Z, BZ2, so I need to do the, uh, well, I'll tell you what, let's try using the one we've just build, uh, built. So bin tar minus xjvf. XJVF text utils. Right, okay, it's probably looking for BZIP2 in the wrong place, so it looks like we can't use that at the moment. Uh, Alright, yes, of course, I've got to tell it where this one is. In fact, I could probably do this by setting the path up. It might be able to find it then. So let's do control R path. So tar minus X J V F text utils. Yep, that's working. I think, I can't think offhand now whether the later Linux and Scratches actually do set up to use the temporary tools immediately as they're built. It certainly does for the um, actual true environment. But it looks like certainly for this version of uh, Linux and Scratch it might have been useful. So we've extracted it. Let's now build it.
save. That's done. Tidy that up and move on to the next package. Util Linux. Okay, I'll just do... Oh, will I be able to... I'll just do it like this, straightforward for now. Uh, uh, LFS static bin. So build that. And as you can see, there's only a couple of um, files that are actually used or copied with the installation. So it just builds those programs and its dependencies. Um, and that's why it's so quick. So that's done. And we move on to installing basic system software next. And I'll be covering that in the next video.